In this movie, we'll learn how to remove display objects from the screen and from memory. On the screen, we see a house and two images. The house is made up of multiple display objects inserted within a group called house. The two images are standalone images created with display.newImageRect. The code for the house comprises lines 5 through 38. The code for the two images appears at lines 43 and 47. There are two aspects to removing a display object from Corona. First, you'll remove the display object from the screen by calling the remove self method of the display object. But you need to do one other step. In order to thoroughly remove the object from memory, you'll nil out the variable. Let's remove the house from the screen. So at the bottom of the code, we'll type house colon remove self. And there's no arguments to pass into this method. Now, when we go back to the screen, we see that the house is removed. But to make sure that we don't create a memory leak, we need to also nil out the house variable. We'll go back to the code and type house equals nil. Now, when we go back to the screen, there's going to be no difference. But know that when you nil out a variable, it marks that variable for garbage collection in Lua. To get rid of the foo and bar variables, we'll do the same. Foo colon remove self. Foo equals nil. And finally, bar colon remove self. Bar equals nil. And this ends our lesson on how to remove display objects from the screen and from memory.